guys and welcome to today's video. Um, this is kind of making up for Friday. I did not post a video because of a handful of excuses including accidentally deleting pre-recorded videos and having to rush to buy a new car after selling mine. So basically I didn't have any time to record on Friday and I also made a silly mistake and deleted some pre-recorded videos and so we are getting our video on Monday. So today I want to do an April favorites video. There are a few things that I have been using since spring started that I have been loving. They are giving me a great natural glowy spring look um, and they're making my makeup application in the morning much, much quicker and easier. Um, so let's start with some brushes that I finally got my hands on. I've been waiting for them to go back in stock. Um, and that is the Moda Prismatic Paddle Brushes. Um, and don't mind that they're dirty. I used them this morning and have not cleaned them yet. Um, but it comes with four brushes and this little one I don't really like or know how to use it. It doesn't work well on my under eye concealer. It's just got this weird angle here that makes it hard to apply things evenly. Like, if it had just the same, you know, normal, I don't know, flatter top that the other ones had, I feel like it would work better, but that angle just makes it difficult. Um, I've been using this one here for my under eye concealer, this one for my blush, and this one obviously for my foundation. I cannot believe how well they work, how quickly they work, and the fact that there are no uneven spots or streaks. It blends down your neck flawlessly. Um, super duper awesome. So the next two things that I am going to show you came from a beauty box that I'm going to unbox for you on Friday. Obviously I've already unboxed it and used these products, um, but I do want to share this box with you because I felt like it was a super awesome value and I want to be able to tell you how the things in the box worked. And there were so many of them that I couldn't film a video that wasn't a reasonable length for first impressions. Um, so first thing is this NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. This is in Rose Petal Pop and it's <clears throat> just like a cream stick. It twists to go up and down um, and you put it on, it starts out like a cream and then as you blend it, it just gets like a nice satin finish. It loses that tackiness. They say it's a cream to powder, um, but it doesn't really feel like powder, which I actually prefer. And the color and the sheerness of it, it just makes it look like you've got some beautiful, naturally rosy cheeks going on, which is what we are all aiming for with blush. And they knocked it out of the park with this one. This is going to be on my repurchase forever list. I love it. And the next thing from that box that I'm really liking is this Brow Gal Convertible Brow Palette. It comes with three colors. It comes with a spoolie and brush. And this has made applying my brows in the morning so quick and easy. Let me tell you, using a quality brow product that goes on nice and evenly and doesn't ever give you a really harsh, dark, super filled in look. It really changes things and makes it much, much easier to do your brows. They say you can add water to it to make it more like a pomade. I didn't really notice a lot of difference there, um, but using it as a powder is great. And of course, I didn't use it this morning, so I can't really show you the result. All I used was a brow mascara this morning because I was in a super hurry. Um, but it works really well. It's what I've been using most mornings. Um, the next thing that I have been loving is actually this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This stuff is fantastic. I always have problems with BB creams because they leave like a tacky finish or they make my skin oily. Basically, I have to load powder up over the top of them which to me completely negates the purpose of a BB cream. I put it on so that my skin will look natural. If I have to start piling on powder, it looks like I'm wearing makeup and I might as well just wear makeup because it's got better coverage. Um, but this, it finishes matte, so it's got a nice texture. It seems to last really well throughout the day. 
it's got like a medium to light coverage. It's not super great, but it's better than nothing. And when you're trying to go for that nice dewy natural look, this stuff works really, really well. And I am able to put <clears throat> cream products over the top of it, blend it out without them pulling that BB cream off, which I absolutely love. Um, so the next thing, if you are using foundation, um, I highly, highly recommend this finishing powder from e.l.f. It's from their um, Beautifully Bare line, I believe. And it's just like a compact, right? You can see I've used like tons of it. It comes with this little sponge, um, which actually I really, really like, and I do use it for this powder. It allows me to kind of load the product up on that sponge and pat it on my face like a beauty blender. And it works really, really well. And then after it bakes for a little bit, I brush it off. But it keeps me matte through the entire day. It doesn't look super powdery sitting on top of my skin. It fills in my fine lines. Um, it keeps my foundation from creasing here on my smile lines and in the creases of my nose. So, absolutely love it. It was really inexpensive, and I will be repurchasing it. Um, it just gives you that nice, beautifully bare finish. Uh, the next thing that I have been loving, I've not been using for the entire month of April because it came in my Ipsy box, but it is this Hey Honey Besame Mucho Lip Balm. And this stuff is so great. It is super hydrating. If my lips are chapped in the morning and they feel awful, I put that on and within a couple of hours they are just like plump and hydrated and I can put a liquid lipstick on if I want to. Um, it's shea butter and propolis which comes from honey or from bees or something, bee pollen maybe. Um, it smells good, it tastes good, <laughs> it's incredibly hydrating. Um, I like to put it on my lips before I put on a darker colored lipstick so that it just gives me that wash of color instead of being really super dark and overdone just because that's what I've really been into lately is just this natural look. Um, the next thing, and this is like really quick and fast natural lips, it is the e.l.f. It's like a gel stain. Um, I think it's like aqua gel or something like that. It's aqua in the name. I don't know. This is in Rouge Radiance and it looks like a super dark red but it actually goes on really sheer and it gives your lips just this beautiful pop of color. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. Like, my lips don't necessarily look like I have something on them. They just look really healthy, like they've got some great color and they're well hydrated. Um, so this is what I use if I need to like get out the door right away and I don't have time to fuss with my lips. This is giving me that beautiful, nice color and finish to my lips. Um, the next thing that I'm loving, and I'm really kind of surprised about it because in my first impressions video, I was not a huge fan. I told you guys I didn't really like it, um, but it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and this is in Precious Petals, and I didn't like it because it's really kind of pink. It's got a lot of pink to it. It's got more of like a glittery type shimmer as opposed to just that nice like metallic shine, you know? Um, but when I want a more subtle highlight for these sort of looks, this is working really, really well. And I've also really been liking it because I can use it as an eyeshadow without it being so bright and um, glittery and metallic. So I'm putting that on my lids and then I'm just taking some bronzer on a crease brush and putting that into the crease and the corner of my eye and it's just giving me this great natural eye look. It doesn't look like I'm wearing anything on my eyes but it makes them pop just a little bit more. So I've been loving that to use for that and for a nice subtle cheekbone highlight. And then the front of this is all worn off for some reason, but it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, and this is in Ticket to Brazil, and it's just a perfect sheer bronzer, um, great if you have fair skin because it doesn't look super dark and orangey. It's great for pulling down into the hollows of your cheeks just to give you a little bit more definition without that harsh contouring 
um, but it also is an orange so it doesn't look weird like you just loaded up a whole bunch of bronzer trying to contour with it. Um, so I've really been loving that. And that is all for my April favorites. Really spring is a very simple makeup time for me. I don't want too much on. You know, in the springtime it's really sunny and the sun really seems to intensify how much makeup you're wearing and it can look a little bit overdone. So I like to bring it down to like the bare minimum and I also just like that healthy look come springtime. So I hope that you all enjoyed this April Favorites video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!